everyone, I'm Patricia, your English teacher, and our class is going to start. Então, pessoal, na nossa primeira aula desse bimestre, nós conhecemos alguns especialistas brasileiros e suas recomendações. Do you remember what we have to do and what we can't do to be protected from coronavirus? Ok? Na aula de hoje, nós vamos conhecer um pouco melhor duas das especialistas que nós vimos na aula anterior, ok? Então, peguem papel, lápis e borracha, porque chegou a hora de vocês colocarem a mão na massa. Ready? Let's go! Look at this web page. Pay attention. Who is she? This is Jaqueline Góes de Jesus. What's her occupation? She's a virus specialist. Which special day is it? It's Women's Day. Do you remember her? É isso mesmo. Ela é uma das cientistas que descobriu o funcionamento do DNA do coronavírus. E essa imagem é de uma reportagem que fizeram sobre ela em 2020 em comemoração ao Dia Internacional das Mulheres, Women's Day. Muito legal, não é? Now, let's get to know some events that occurred in Jaqueline de Jesus' life. Pay attention to these events. Put them in chronological order. Look. Let's see the example. Event number one is... 1990. Was born. Nasceu. Quando a Jaqueline de Jesus nasceu. Ok? Now, which one is number two? That's it, 2008, graduation, very good. What about number three? Yeah, 2012, master's degree. Mestrado, quando ela estava estudando mestrado. Next one, number four. 2015. Doctoral Studies. Doutorado, quando ela estava no doutorado. Number 5. 2017. University of Birmingham. What about number 6? 2019. University of Sao Paulo. And last one, number 7. 2020, Sequency of Coronavirus DNA. Well done, everybody. Great job, everybody. You are all doing very well. Now let's continue. Okay, now use information from the box to complete the sentences about Jaqueline de Jesus. Look at the example. Was born in 1990. Now, started in 2008. Graduation. She started graduation in 2008. What about the next one in 2012? Master's degree. Jacqueline started master's degree in 2012. The next one, the next event. Initiated doctoral studies in 2015. Well done. And what happened in 2017? She visited the University of Birmingham. Now, next, started working at, começou a trabalhar, 
started working at University of Sao Paulo in 2019. And the last one, what happened? She discovered the sequence of coronavirus DNA in 2020. Well done! Agora me digam, onde podemos encontrar essas informações sobre a Jaqueline? Pay attention. In a dictionary. In a biography. Or in a manual. What's the answer? That's it. In a biography. Now, let's see a mini biography about Jaqueline de Jesus. Look. Okay, so this is Jaqueline de Jesus mini biography. Okay? It has four parts. Look. Part number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. What type of information can you see here? Look. Letter A, Jaqueline's studies. Letter B, Jaqueline's profession. Letter C, Jaqueline's scientific discovery. Or letter D, Jaqueline's date and place of birth. Okay? Date and place of birth. Data e local de nascimento. Now look at number one and tell me. What can you see in number one? A, B, C, or D? Number one, letter D. We can see Jaqueline's date and place of birth. Well done. What about number two? Number two, letter A. We can see information about Jacqueline's studies. Well done. And number three, what can you find in number three? Number three, letter B, Jacqueline's profession. And number four, we have letter C, Jacqueline's scientific discovery. Well done. Okay, everybody. Now let's come back to some events about Jacqueline. Pay attention. Look at these events. Pay attention. Are they about past, present, or future? What's the answer? Past. They are about past. Now tell me, how do you know it? Look, we have 2008, 2017, 2020. Okay? They are all about past. Very nice. Now, pay attention to these verbs. Look, started, visited, discovered. What do they have in common? That's right. They end in ED. Okay? Now look. The verbs in the past that end in ED are regular or irregular. Pay attention. They are regular, okay? They all end in ED. Now, let's practice. Here we have some interesting facts about Jacqueline. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in the past. Look, Jacqueline at Ifiba when she was at high school. When she was at high school. Quando ela estava no ensino médio. This is past. So, Study or studied? Studied. Jacqueline studied at Ifiba when she was at high school. Okay? Now look at the verb study. 
In the past, what happens? We remove letter Y and put I E D. Okay? Let's continue. Her father in civil engineer when he was at university. When he was at university, quando ele estava na universidade, this is past. So, graduated or graduating? Her father graduated in civil engineering when he was at the university. Well done. Next one. Jaqueline to work in biomedical sciences when she was a teenager. Quando ela era adolescente. This is past. So, decide or decided? Jaqueline decided to work in biomedical sciences when she was a teenager. And last one. In March... 2020, okay, past. Maurício de Souza creates or created a character for her in Tuma da Mônica. Created, Maurício de Souza created a character for her in Tuma da Mônica. Excellent job, everybody. Okay, now let's continue practicing, but now let's talk about Jaqueline Jesus' friend, Esther Sabino. Pay attention. Now, look at Esther Sabino's mini biography, complete with the verbs in the past. Look. Graduate. What's the past of graduate? That's it. She graduated in medicine at USP in 1984. What about start? What's the past of start? One year later, she started her residency. Well done. Initiate. What's the past of initiate? In 1989, Esther Sabino initiated her doctoral studies. Very good. What about the verb act? What's the past of act? She acted as a postdoctoral fellow. Como estudante de pós-doutorado. Very good. The next one, you already know. Start. She started working at USP in 2007. And the last one, discover. Esther Sabino discovered the sequence of coronavirus DNA. Excellent! Well done! Então, pessoal, agora que nós já conhecemos um pouco mais dessas duas cientistas pioneiras, que tal a gente refletir sobre a seguinte questão? Qual a importância da trajetória da Jaqueline Jesus e da Esther Sabino para a participação das mulheres no desenvolvimento da ciência brasileira? Think about it! Now, what have we seen today? Look, agora vocês já sabem se referir a ações, fatos ou acontecimentos no passado. E a nossa aula vai ficando por aqui. That's all, folks. Bye!